Well, welcome back fellow YouTubers, toy and toy train buffs to another running session out here on the Milwaukee Northwestern. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy uh, my slow leak in progress layout that I call the Milwaukee Northwestern. Uh, today, there's no layout progress to report. Uh, me getting out of bed, that's progress enough lately. <laughs> uh, I, I've just been busy and doing other things. But I have managed to break out a couple things that uh, I'm really excited about. First of all, let me see, I'm going to pardon the camera shake. Alrighty. I got me a new set. Not new in the sense that it was uh, recent, but new in the sense that it was never open. This set is from 19... I'm holding the box with one hand and <laughs> trying to film with the other. Okay, check it out. When I bought this set back in the uh, pandemic lockdown, it was brand new with the shrink wrap over the box, never open until last week. Uh, last week I finally took the shrink wrapping off and opened up the box and looked at it, gave it uh, some grease on the gears, some oil on the axles, and put some smoke fluid in it and runs like a champ. Now, Again, this set was from 1998. Includes a 442 Atlantic locomotive with old school air whistle, smoke, headlight, and it's leaded for Lionel lines. It includes, like I said, it includes the engine, which is X1110, a tender, and this awesome CP rail car. This is the first one of these that, that I have. I, I love it. I love the markings on it. Really, really nice. Also came with this flat car. A Southern Pacific slash Lionel Caboose. And this BNSF tractor trailer. Along with an oval of track and transformer. So that's uh, that's my new old set that we're going to run today. The next thing that I'm totally stoked about is uh, I got to get my hands out of the camera strap. Sorry, it's going to be a little shaky. Sorry. All right. Let me bring this forward. Uh, that whole forward neutral reverse thing. Gotta be patient. Now, We have seen this, of course. I, I ran it just a couple weeks ago. It was in a video. This is the Rail King uh, Hiawatha. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, engine and tender. And what I was running back then was the set of uh, generic Rail King passenger cars that they lettered up for the Milwaukee Road. Excellent set. Full set includes seven cars, the dome, just the dome, a super dome, just it really is a nice set, I'm, and I'm not complaining. What I've always wanted though was a set of what I would guess you say uh, uh, Hiawatha specific cars, and I latched on to this set of five cars. First is this baggage car, which has opening doors, the diner, nicely detailed, 
with an antenna on the top. Nice. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It has this coach, which is a station sounds coach. And when the train is running, it's like rail sounds. You know, it has the thumpity thump uh, rail sound. So that's, that's pretty cool. Then it's got this coach. And last but not least, bear with me. I suppose I should have locked that into uh, forward, but I didn't. The Cedar Rapids Sky Top Lounge Car. Uh, I have wanted one of these, these, these cars, like forever. Uh, I, I tell you what, this set of five cars, just I'm really stoked about. They're all 15-inch cars, by the way. They are running on this outside loop, which is 042 track. And check this out. While the rest of the cars have silhouettes in them, and they're all lighted except uh, <coughs> the baggage cars. There's, there's either no lights in there, or they're burnt out, or there's loose connection. I gotta double check. Uh, you know, it's a baggage car. It's not at all important if it has lights. Uh, not to me, at any rate. But the Sky Top Cedar Rapids Sky Top Observation Car has got figures inside. Oh, look at those two lovey doveys. Oh, I almost feel like a peeping Tom. Okay. And then the other cool thing about it is when it's in, I know when it's in neutral. There we go. Check that out. Now, to be sure, uh, I'm, I, I'm guessing these, this car, at least the rail sounds uh, or station sounds car, was probably designed for command and control. Command, command and control. I don't have that. I don't have TMCC. I don't have any of that junk. I, I run conventional. Uh, I'm not a millionaire. I can't afford uh, those fancy electronics, so I run conventional. That being said, it's a little tricky for me to get that rail sounds car to sound off. But let's try it. That's enough all aboards. Shall we go forward? There we go.
let's bring it on home. Okay, so, and there we have it folks, my brand new set from 1998, which I forgot to uh, say was set number 6-11944, uh, Lionel Lines, uh, it's, just, it's just a Lionel Lines set, that's all, with uh, 442 Atlantic, and tender, boxcar, flat car, caboose, and tractor trailer. And next was my set of five Lionel 15 inch Hiawatha passenger cars with the Cedar Rapids Sky Top Observation Lounge and uh, rail sounds slash uh, station announcement car. Which one is it? Let me, I gotta look down here. That is the Spring Valley. That's it. The name of the car is Spring Valley. Alrighty. And there you have it folks for another running session. Two different sets. Uh, a Hiawatha Fest. Uh, another Hiawatha Fest entrant. entrant. Uh, and uh, yeah. Lots of fun. So I, I gotta get out of here because uh, I gotta go outside and clear my lungs of this smoke. <laughs> It's awesome. I love it. Uh, until next time, tschüss, adieu, auf Wiedersehen. Bye, y'all. <laughs>